Hi. Hi. Thanks for escalated. Again, back in a natural habitat. Oh yes. Uh, Stop. How far are y'all driving today? Far. Four and a half hours. Yeah, we've been here for three days, and now we're heading to Nashville. Uh, it's pouring rain today. The weather's not not great, Lots but it's okay. Rain. currently right outside of Nashville at a KOA campsite. We got here late last night. It was super rough, very cold, dark, and not enjoyable. But today was spent mostly in the RV. I worked on some YouTube stuff in the bed, obviously. I had to stay cozy all day. But yeah, I'm really excited to explore Nashville. I freaking love Nashville. Hi. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? Um, I'm working in the bed because it's disgusting outside and that's just the vibes today. This is the reality of working on the road. A it's mess. very messy and Well, is, these are all clean. I will yeah, say that I clean that this morning. Up soon. It's just cluttered right now. I don't really care. I'm kind of embracing the messiness. You'll understand when you see the outdoors. Yeah, this, that's all ice, by the way. We are working here all day because we obviously can't go anywhere. I had to go extend our stay here. We were planning on staying for two nights, but we are like, we're probably gonna extend it. So I went in there this morning and I was like, can we like stay another night? They're like, oh, of course. Because obviously no one's coming or going. So we're just chilling here all day and getting a lot of work done. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get on the road because I'm trying to go explore Nashville a little bit. And my best friend lives here, so I want to go see her. We'll see but we no one's explore. leaving their home today. It's supposed to snow today. Yeah. So. <laughs> Someone's going out to battle, I see. And my whiskey pin. <laughs> I'm actually warm. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cold out here. And as you can see, every, literally everything's ice. And I'm pretty much just slipping. This is all iced out. All of this. All of this is ice. Since I don't I don't have a heated hose, uh, they put these buckets over top of um, all of the other ones you can see. You can see the buckets on top. Uh, that's just to protect the water spout so it doesn't freeze and you know the pipes don't explode. So that's why we can't have the hose consistently connected. We have 50 foot of ice in our hose. She's a frozen solid. So I'm gonna finish filling this up and then get back and get warm. We were trying to leave today, but we couldn't because everything is literally frozen solid. It's been very interesting the past 48 hours from, okay, cool, it's just cold, to now it's just freezing. It's gonna get colder tonight. It's supposed to drop down to 12 tonight. Obviously nothing's gonna thaw out, and then it's supposed to get even colder tomorrow night. So you know, we're, we're comfortable and, and there's places to go get food if we need to. It's just not safe to, to drive the trailer. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, things have escalated. Day three of being stuck in a snowstorm in uh, Tennessee. Things are going swell. We ended up extending our stay like an hour ago because everyone is basically snowed in. And the snow really isn't the biggest problem. It's more so the ice. It was kind of raining yesterday and then it froze. So the hitch is totally frozen. The slide is totally frozen. We've been guzzling propane to keep it warm in there. Thank God our RV is designed for sub freezing temperatures as well as really hot temperatures. So we've been warm inside, but we've been using a lot of propane. The other issue is that our gray tank was totally full. So we just spent like an hour filling up a five gallon bucket of our gray water and going over to the dump station and dumping it in there. So this is the reality, everyone. Yeah, we're not doing the black thing. No way. That's kind of what's happening. We're just stuck in this giant snowstorm that the whole South is dealing with. Texas and Tennessee is probably the worst. So we did not know this was gonna happen. We just thought it was gonna be a little snow and that was it. But no, it's not, it's a little more than that. Hello, Miss Crosby. Well, hello. What are you cooking? A very hearty meal, because just because it's disgusting
freezing and snowing out doesn't mean candy good. We got farro, we got butternut squash, mushrooms, and kale. Dylan doesn't like mushrooms, so he bought himself a steak. So I got I got one of these things. FYI, I'm vegetarian, so sometimes he here. needs his meat. I don't, so I'm making my vegan meal right now. I'm not vegan, I'm vegetarian. I really like cheese, so it's not possible for me. The heater didn't work for a while, and it was horrible. We just got it to work again. We're back at 70 degrees. We come in here from the grocery store, it's 50. So all good and honestly this whole experience has just made me more excited for rv life because if we're not dying right now and we're not like oh i want to go home think about what it's going to be like when we're out west and it's beautiful and sunny if we can do this we can do whatever so i'm just excited to do this in in-season time when it's warm that's what i'm taking away from this experience Great. also that looks really good uh-huh welcome to our home with no running water because the pipes are frozen we've been filling this up with water as needed and doing it old-fashioned style so just cleaning things with water brings me back to my car camping days when I just had a gallon of water in the car and I would go outside in the freezing cold and wash the dishes at least we still have a sink we have no running water to take a shower or wash dishes properly or do anything and we're going a little stir crazy hence the wine we can just put this down we're really hoping we can get out tomorrow i don't know if that's gonna happen because it's not getting above freezing for like a while we love snow and cold weather uh, <laughs> Driving to the bathhouse, like we said last night, the pipes are frozen, so we have no running water and haven't showered in days. We could have left that part out. Well, it's the reality. Got my towel, got our clothes, fingers crossed. Please be open. Happy dance because it's open. getting out of here it's day four of being stuck in the snowstorm we're in like a little bit of a chill period where it's not snowing it's not horrifically cold so we're really trying to make a break for it because it's 9 15 right now and around 6 p.m tonight is when the next wave of the storm is supposed to hit i'm not staying here another three days we're going a little stir crazy we have work to do down in chattanooga and atlanta so we're really trying to get out within the next 45 minutes dylan's chipping ice off everything thawing everything out i'm cleaning up the trailer putting everything in the car throwing all the trash Way. So wish us luck. I think we're gonna be able to do it. It's a little nerve-wracking This is what it's come to Ugh. Basically had two miles icy snowy road. That's why we were so nervous to leave yesterday and the day before today with our best bet and we're getting on the highway right now we're on the move! You freaking killed it! My toes are starting to thaw. My dad just texts me, he goes, I distract you and see that you're on the move. Yay! My parents track me every five seconds. 